Nation is growing for the first total solar eclipse in recent memory. Nebraska is on the path of totality. But before you can take off the afternoon and look up, you have to look out for your eyes, that is. Andrea Braswell looks at how to get the right eye protection before the eclipse. Seeing an eclipse can be a unique experience, so it's something you don't want to miss. But wearing these glasses can save your eyes. People around the metro are excited for the total eclipse you'll be able to see right here in Nebraska. I cannot wait. I've been thinking about it ever since I found out. It happens just after 1 p.m. on August 21st. The moon is going to position itself between the Earth and the sun and that will block out uh, most of the sun's light for a large part of the country. Although it will be a sight to see, Dr. Lance Kugler says it's essential that you protect your eyes. Even looking at the sun for a short period of time without proper protection can cause eye damage and cause permanent vision loss. So it's very important when viewing an eclipse that you use proper eye safety. You'll know when the eclipse is here. Temperatures will drop and it'll be dark out, but you'll need these to see. The right glasses to view the eclipse must have this ISO tag and be approved by the federal government. These glasses basically reduce the amount of sunlight uh, entering your eye to about 0.0001%. Without the proper glasses, the sun's rays will be so intense that they can cause a solar burn inside of your eye. It's just kind of a, a dull area in their vision that can result from that. And they may not realize it for months to years later that they have it. Dr. Kugler says children should be closely monitored and keep the glasses on at all times during the eclipse. Either go over glasses or they can go under glasses and they can go over contact lenses too. Also, do not use binoculars, a telescope, or a camera while wearing them. Dr. Kugler says that will focus the light directly into your eyes and may cause permanent damage. Reporting in Omaha, Andrea Braswell, 3 News Now.